The Alliance Stem Plastic Waste is a global non-profit organization. We're tasked with developing and funding projects on the ground that are addressing the plastic waste challenge. First and foremost, it's about collection and processing of plastic waste to ensure that it doesn't leak into the environment and that uh, communities are enabled with waste management solutions. Secondly, we're focused on creating a circular economy for plastic. And that really starts with the ability to recycle, but also the development of downstream markets uh, for plastic waste. And last but not least, we're targeting the catalyzing of capital towards our mission. There's more than $120 billion of value that's lost through the non-recovery of plastic waste from the environment. And through our initiatives, we're looking to drive capital towards the solutions that we're proving on the ground. We live today very much in a uh, make, use, and then dispose society. And that is very inefficient in terms of the use of natural resources and very inefficient in terms of the environmental impact. Plastic waste treated as a resource is a consequence of thinking about a circular economy. So rather than, again, thinking about make, use, and then dispose, what we try and think of is the value that we can get from after use. At the Plastic Flamingo, we've got a vision that is to turn plastic waste into valuable products. That is to create value from garbage. We collect plastic that has nearly no value and we turn them into construction material. We secured a grant with the Alliance to End Plastic Waste that literally allowed us to build a recycling facility in the Philippines. You've got to go where the plastic pollution is the most important. That's why we started in the Philippines, the third most polluting country in the world in terms of ocean plastic. The Mountain Lumpa community responded very well to this new opportunity for job creation, actually. We can address the world system and change mentalities of individuals, but also companies. Po ay isang parang salaan na bago maitapon sa mga waste o sa river, sa dagat, tayo na po yung mag-collect. Ano, yung tama pong talagang pagbubuklod ng mga basura. Masaya kami, sir, kasi kahit papalo, yung mga basura na ginawa natin, napakinabagan dito. Sa pangalawa, makatulong tayo sa kalikasan. Dahil sa mga basura na na, akala na wala lang pakinabang, pwede pala gamit dito. Kung sa tibay, sir, napakatibay nito. We have a large network of more than 140 collection points. Some of them are also public drop-off points where people can drop off their plastics. We are now producing roughly 400 planks uh, a month, but we really want to scale up. By the end of this year, we want to collect 500 tons of plastic waste. And by 2023, we want to upscale it to 2,000 tons. The Alliance is working with a broad base of stakeholders, including multilateral agencies, civil society groups, non-profit organizations, as well as governments, but importantly also businesses, to address the challenge of plastic waste in the environment. So one of the organizations we've worked with is a company called Literati. They've developed an app, but it's more than just an app. It's an, a method to engage communities in the plastic waste challenge. The way Literati works is quite simple, yet sophisticated. Anybody in the world can download our iOS or Android application, and just by taking a photograph of plastic waste in the environment, they can be part of the solution. That photograph holds quite a bit of data, a lot of information. And what we do from a computer vision and AI perspective is look at those photographs and understand what are the objects, what are the materials, and that data can be used to help inform cities about where to place their resources and help us all understand how to solve this problem. Since I have been born and brought up here, I love my country and village more than any other places in the world. Then uh, it was very beautiful in the past days, but now it has been ruined just because of the littering habit of the people living here. Before I joined Literati, I was confused how can I solve this problem, but now I can do something for my village. Our role at the Alliance to End Plastic Waste is to prevent the leakage of plastic 
waste into the environment. We do this by investing in innovation as well as in infrastructure to support the better collection, sorting and recycling of post-consumer plastic. Asase is a foundation in Ghana that is run primarily by women for women and its role is collect and recycle plastic waste for secondary use. The work that we do with them is by giving them investment funding and also to provide them with technical expertise. The face of the waste picker is a woman and this woman is the poorest of the poor. We believe that intervening at that level to work with them to bring value to what they collect because without their collection, the whole value chain would collapse. Educate a woman, you educate a nation. So if you take care of a woman, you also take care of a community. Now I walk through the streets and I don't see plastics as trash, but then I see it as money. And so I put value on it. In the nine months since we are supported by the Alliance, Someone like Peter, who is bringing his expertise, helped us multiply by a factor of, I don't even know, 5, 10, the value of the money which we invested here. The fun part from me is I got a free ticket to learn myself on a different way of looking to waste. On the other hand, I can contribute with all the knowledge I have about the process, about the technology. I made also a change to the thinking of people, the behavior of people, and it's really a memory I, I cherish. Addressing plastic waste is a complex challenge. However, through working collaboratively with our project partners and other stakeholders, we're able to come with solutions that are meaningful on the ground. Mismanaged plastic waste is already an issue that affects every aspect of our lives now and will continue to have that impact on our children and our grandchildren. Our aim in the projects that we support is to ensure that they can be fully successful. And that means that they're meeting the needs of the local community. They're addressing an important aspect of plastic waste. They can be economically sustainable. But most important of all is that on success, they can be replicated and scaled. So small seeds grow into big impact.